I'm gonna be making the ultimate vegan ice cream. It's gonna be the best vanilla vegan ice cream you've ever had. <laughs> Back up. Was this wrong? This is very weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's like when you walk into Home Depot. Uh... <laughs> we want to give the people what they want. try these two methods that I've been researching. So the first one, I'm gonna be using frozen bananas. Got these bad boys frozen solid. Oh, okay, that just looks like a weird old finger. Why didn't you peel them and put them in the freezer? I was rushing, that okay. Was nobody wants this in their ice cream. It's gonna reach out of a closet and get you. Ew. While we're waiting for those to freeze, I'm gonna try my second method, which is with coconut milk. Oh yeah. You sound like share. I mean. Don't provoke me. You keep pushing me aside and I can't. We're gonna get there, Vaughn, I promise. Smooth, not a chunk in sight. Okay, so we've got these frozen, peeled, pre-peeled bananas that I made. Ooh, yeah, love that sound. Ooh, that's nice, actually. I'm gonna go freeze this and then we can go check on these two bad boys tomorrow. Not ideal. <laughs> That's not the sound you want to hear. I can chew it. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like a banana. What would you say is like our frame of reference for vegan ice cream? Van Leeuwen's really delicious. But do you think they would like give us tips? Should we go to Van Leeuwen? <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. All right. Okay, so we called Van Leeuwen Ice Cream, and it turns out the founder of the company, Ben Van Leeuwen, is gonna be working today. So we're gonna go get some tips and tricks from him. I cannot believe this is happening. Epic! All right, here we go. Woohoo! I need to make the ultimate vanilla vegan ice cream. Okay, cool. Would you give me a tip on kind of how to like bring out the vanilla flavor, but to not let the like coconut Ooh. overpower Whoa, it? That's good. <laughs> So we think the best way to make vegan ice cream now is using coconut cream, cashew milk, cocoa butter, and coconut oil. So each of those things plays a different role in creating a super luscious, chewy, creamy vegan ice cream. It's a good meal. Other than the sugar, it's completely healthy. I was gonna ask yeah. you, can my cat eat this? Because sometimes she licks my ice cream. Today I'm feeling a lot more confident because I got to talk to Ben frickin' Van Leeuwen and now I'm gonna show you some of the things that I learned. So the first thing we're gonna do is take these cashews that I soaked overnight and we're gonna make cashew milk. So I'm gonna try to gracefully dump this in here. I don't know if that's even humanly possible, but oh good God. Honestly, not so bad. Oh yeah. Mama. Is that good? Oh, wow, that looks so good. Woo! This is thick. How many C's? I think it warrants three. Cheers. Okay, so now we're going to put the coconut milk in with the cashew milk. Uh, 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 two cups. Now it's time to sauce it up. I'm gonna make simple syrup. So that's just some water and some sugar. Let's mix that baby up. We should DM Ben. Why? <laughs> Saying hey, what? Hey, we're making ice cream. Ben, I like this cute. I don't want to talk about it. It's finally melting. I am also melting. The cocoa butter, I'm pretty sure, is going to help it stay fairly solid while the coconut oil should give it that meltiness that we want in an ice cream. We don't want it to be rock solid like the coconut nightmare we saw yesterday. Oh. Ooh, now's the time where you can add the flavor that you want now that you have the base. I'm gonna use actual vanilla bean because we're fancy schmancy around here. So now we're gonna take this and we're going to chill it for like an hour or two. What? We were supposed to freeze this for 24 hours. Are you kidding? Go I put will. that thing in the freezer right now, Merle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna get the compressor. We're gonna test out our first batch of Van Leeuwen influenced ice cream. Ooh, it's so creamy and delicious. Wow. Oh, look at that. It said just to press start. Oh my God! We might have actual hope here, guys. Oh my God. I think I actually did something right today. Look at that, and we haven't even frozen it yet. Oh my God. Oh, I got it. Here we go. Oh! 
Get out of there, you. Wow, I'm like very impressed with us. That is beautiful. Oh, mama. No, that's really good. That's like milk. Yay! So now I'm gonna freeze this because I mean, we gotta eat it. And then tomorrow we're gonna try to perfect the flavor. I think we've got the consistency down, but now we wanna get that delicious vanilla flavoring and try to lose the undertones of coconut. And So my plan is to kind of balance the fats out a little bit more. I'm gonna use less coconut oil. I'm gonna use more cocoa butter. So it has less of a coconutty flavor. So that's basically what we're gonna be working with with this batch. Now I have that batch whipped up and I'm gonna let it churn for an hour. In the meantime, I'm gonna test another recipe. I'm just playing with the levels of cashew milk and coconut milk. So we've got ice cream flying all over the place right now is basically what I'm saying. It's like a bad breath aftertaste. I don't love it. Papery wooden <laughs> kind of thing. The flavor is very odd. What do we do? Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh wait, Claire! Claire, Claire help Claire us! Taste this. Claire, please! Well, taste this and be mean, but then be nice and tell me the texture's good. Okay. <laughs> so I know you guys have been working really hard on this, but... This is very weird. So, okay, so what this is, is you need a lot more vanilla. More vanilla? Yeah, one, I don't think one bean's that strong. I think that we can up the vanilla, just to kind of overpower that flavor. I'm scared. It's like, what is it Wood and Play-Doh. Okay, we have been asking for help, and people keep telling us it doesn't taste good, but nobody knows how to fix it. I don't know what to do. I wanna keep testing, because it's already Friday, and we've been shooting this since Monday, and also we're running out of resources, and this isn't a Game of Thrones budget, so we can't afford to keep buying stuff. Okay, no, I'm just frustrated because I just want it to be something that I'm proud of, and I'm not proud of what we have so far. I'm like getting so desperate, I almost feel like we should DM Ben and just ask him for help. Like Ben Van Leeuwen? Yeah, I don't know. DM him. You should seriously DM him. I feel like a maniac doing this. Hey Ben, I'm so sorry to bother you, but we're having an ice cream crisis. Oh my god. Am I actually sending this? Send. Now I'm just gonna be sitting here watching it. This is turning into a reality TV show. Whoa, look at that. This I, tastes like. Sorry. I'm so annoyed right now. <laughs> it just tastes like wood and licorice. The texture's good. And now I just wanna cry because no, we're out of money okay. and we're out of time. It's okay, bro. We're gonna make it work. So there's cocoa butter. Can I taste it? Yeah, I actually didn't even taste it yet. Oh, it's a little weird. You know, it's like, it's like when you walk into Home Depot and you smell the weird like wood in the it's air. Like, that is what, what it is. It's so it's bad. Wood. This is what it, it is. It smells like wood. That is the weird. So how did we taste like, this before? Like, close your eyes and walk into Home Depot. Okay. Smack my fanny and call me Sally. That is what it is. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it down from six tablespoons of cocoa butter to four, and I'm gonna bring up the coconut oil from two tablespoons to four. We're gonna add in the coconut milk and the cashew milk, and then we're going to emulsify. I'm going to actually start the blender with these in it already, and then I'm gonna slowly pour in the sugar water mixture to make sure that they really blend together. Ah, woo, emulsify! It sounds like a great spell. I'll go back and get <laughs> We'll be cutting around that. I'm gonna go chill this, and I'm gonna chill, and then we're gonna churn it and call it a day. We're almost done. Knock on wood. Knock on whatever you have nearby. Oh, there's some wood. We don't wanna over churn it. Okay, I'm gonna churn it off. Okay. <laughs> Should we take a little teeny taste of it? That is so much better. Oh, really? You're about to scream to the heavens. Oh! I know, it's so good! Oh my god! Oh my god, wait! That's so good! I think we figured it out. Oh my god. I'm so happy right this now. This feels like victory. Oh, mama. Whoa, we are done. I'm ready to wrap this puppy up. Let's get some people in here to try it. This is a very important taste tester because <sighs> Rachel's vegan. This is gonna be some uh, Gordon Ramsay review right here. The eye contact is everything. No pressure. Holy <laughs> 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 
delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I am so impressed. Yeah, this is nice. This is good. This struggle was so real. Easily the hardest tasty video I've ever made and certainly the longest. I don't know if I could have done it without you, for sure. I think I probably would have given up. Oh. Let's eat some of that ice cream, it's really good. I mean, we have like 19 tubs of ice cream now. Woo, let's go see Mamma Mia 2, not a plug.